There have been many archaeological discoveries in the world. Most of them help researchers and historians to know more about our ancestors, but some of them are admittedly horrifying. For archaeologists, bones and skeletons might not be scary, but some underground discoveries are still incredibly bizarre, and you'll surely get the creeps while looking at them. From the Capuchin Monastery catacombs to the oldest skeletal evidence of leprosy, here are 15 scary discoveries found buried underground. Number 15. Capuchin Monastery Catacombs In the city of Palmero lies one of the most bizarre and morbid tourist attractions. While Egyptian mummies are usually buried inside a sarcophagus, the mummies of Palmero are hanging on the walls, exposed for everyone to see. Imagine how terrifying it is to see 8,000 corpses, each one dressed up in their best outfits just hanging on the wall. For most places in the world, this practice might be unusual. For instance, it's common in Western culture to keep the dead out of sight, usually buried six feet underground. This might not be what is common, but here in the city of Palmero, this is nothing out of the ordinary. Today, this burial site is one of the most popular tourist attractions in Sicily, Italy. So if you're in the area, you can visit this underground cemetery, only if you have the guts to do so. You're probably wondering how the bodies are mummified in such a way that they can be displayed. First, the bodies were drained of fluids. They're usually laid on shelves to allow all their body fluid to leak out. The corpse will also be dried out in the process, and after a full year, it will be rinsed with vinegar. Finally, the corpse will be dressed in its best attire and propped up on the walls of the catacomb. One of the most interesting people stored in this catacomb was Rosalia Lombardo. She was only two years old when she was embalmed and preserved in 1920. The embalming procedure is so good that to this day, she still looks so well preserved. Her body remains remarkably intact, but the embalming process has been long lost. The process involved using formalin to eliminate bacteria, alcohol to dry the body, glycerin to keep it from excessively drying, salicylic acid to kill fungi, and putting zinc salts to maintain the body's rigidity. I don't think this process interests anyone. But this process of embalming is the key to the preservation of Rosalia's corpse. The preservation is so remarkable that she has been dubbed the Sleeping Beauty. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. Sacrifice Children How would you react if you saw this huge burial site in person? Mind you, this is no ordinary burial site. The remains found here don't belong to people that died of natural causes or disease. Instead, these are the remains of 227 young children that have been sacrificed. This site has been unearthed in Huanachaco, a tourist town near Trujillo, Peru. The children on the site were aged between 4 and 14 years old, and it was believed that they were sacrificed by the Chimu culture that resided in the area 500 years ago. The people deem this necessary after experiencing rains and floods brought by the El Nino weather pattern in the area at the time. Unlike the technology and knowledge we have today, people back then believed that the gods controlled the weather and the harvest. This might be considered inhumane today, but back then, human sacrifices were normal. However, it doesn't make them any less tragic. The archaeologists were all baffled when they found corpses of children one after the other. The children showed signs of being killed during the wet weather, and they were later on buried facing the sea to appease the gods. Number 13. Tomb of Sunken Skulls In 2009, archaeologists discovered a peculiar site that we now know as the Tomb of the Sunken Skulls. The tomb is located on the eastern shore of Lake Vatern in the southeastern part of Sweden. Originally, a railway line was set to be built over the site where there was once a shallow lake, However, before the construction could continue, an excavation was necessary to check if there are any important archaeological artifacts buried underneath. And they did discover something incredible. Archaeologists found the skull and skull fragments of up to 11 individuals, including men, women, and children. What's interesting is that almost all of the adult human skulls were jawless, and half of them were pierced with wooden stakes. It's estimated that the skulls are more than 8,000 years old. We don't know how exactly they got their head injuries, but there are signs that their deaths aren't directly caused by these injuries. Thanks to modern technology, 
Researchers also managed to construct an image out of their skulls to show what these people might have looked like when they were still alive. Number 12. Shackled Skeletons You might think that it's just a random artifact, but what you're seeing is a shackle found on a male skeleton that lived between AD 226 to AD 427. The man didn't die while he was being imprisoned. This is a burial shackle that he was forced to wear until his very last breath. Even in his last moments, his ankles are locked with heavy iron fetters. He was then thrown in a ditch with no sign of respect for his corpse. There are also no signs of a coffin, and his body was positioned in a very awkward way, showing the people that disposed of him didn't even spare him any respect. The man was said to be in his late 20s or early 30s, and he is one of the rare pieces of evidence of slavery in Roman Britain. After more research, they found more tragic information about the man. He led a physically demanding life, and he showed signs of injuries caused by a blow or a fall. But the biggest tragedy is that someone went out of their way to make sure that this man will forever be remembered as a slave through the shackles. Even in his death, he never escaped his tragic fate. Number 11. Screaming Mummy You don't need to hear its backstory for you to be horrified at this mummy, and just looking at its face is enough. This is none other than Prince Pentaware. He might look like he died after witnessing something horrifying, and that might be true. This prince right here allegedly tried to murder his very own father, Pharaoh Ramesses III, and he later took his own life after he was put on trial. Because of the mummy's open mouth, it's now known as the Screaming Mummy. Despite being a royal, Prince Pentaware wasn't properly mummified. Considering the thing he did, it isn't really surprising. The Egyptians did not find it necessary to use any embalming fluid on him, and his body was allowed to naturally mummify instead. They left his mouth agape and his facial muscles strained to make it appear as if the mummy is screaming. We still don't know whether he died while screaming or if someone arranged his body to retain this position after his death. The assassination attempt by the screaming mummy was a success though. In 2012, a team of researchers found out that the mummy of Ramesses III indeed died after his throat was slashed. Prince Pentaware was assisted by his mother, one of Ramesses III's wives. The two planned the assassination together. However, the prince was caught. After being found guilty, he was left alone by the butlers. And at that time, Pentaware killed himself. How he did it is still unclear. He might have died from poisoning or hanging, but we can never be sure. Number 10. Knife-Armed Man You guys are probably all familiar with Captain Hook. You know, that guy that replaced his amputated arm with a hook? He might be a fictional character, but we have someone cooler in real life. In 2018, archaeologists discovered the skeleton of a medieval Italian man that had a knife for an arm. How cool is that? The skeleton was found in a Longobard necropolis in the northern part of Italy, and it was believed that the skeleton dated back to the 6th to 8th century CE. Among the hundreds of skeletons buried in the area, the knife-armed man is the most peculiar. The man was believed to be 40 to 50 years old when he died. His right arm had been amputated, possibly because of an injury from a fall or fight injury. Prostheses might be a common thing today, but considering the era, it was incredible that the man managed to utilize it for his amputated arm. The ends of the man's bone showed evidence that it was reshaped to form a callus. This happens when a prosthesis is used. What's more astounding is that despite this injury, the man managed to survive despite living in an era where antibiotics don't exist. Number 9. Live Bomb Let's take a break from horrifying archaeological discoveries first. There's still a possibility that you'll find something horrifying buried in your backyard. In 2021, a woman from Missouri was out gardening in her yard when she discovered something bizarre. At first, she had no idea what the foreign object was. She didn't expect to see a small metal object covered in rust and mud in her backyard. She then brought it inside the house to inspect it with her husband. Then, they noticed the letters engraved on the object, and to see it clearly, the husband washed it off, then proceeded to use a steak knife to try and clean it out. In the middle of it, the woman suddenly came to a realization. With the help of the Google Lens tool, they concluded that the object is most likely a bomb. The couple immediately called the Jefferson County Sheriff's Department, and upon the arrival of the authorities, they then realized how severe the situation was. 
The officers immediately secured the area, and the couple was forced to stay inside their home while the officers examined the bomb outside. They were also instructed to stay away from all doors and windows for hours. For extra precaution, the authorities examined the area to make sure that no other bombs could be found in the area. You can say that this couple is extremely lucky because the bomb that they discovered still could have exploded. And if it did, it would have been catastrophic as it had a 500 feet blast range. It's a good thing that they didn't try to bring the bomb to the police. Since the bomb had been around since World War II, it's extremely volatile and one wrong move could have triggered it. Number 8. Lady Die. This one can be horrifying or just straight up fascinating depending on how you view mummies. This is Xin Zhui, and she was a woman that died in 163 BC. Nicknamed Lady Dai, she is the most well-preserved mummy in history. Her remains were discovered in 1971 while workers were digging near an air raid shelter near Changsha. They stumbled upon the massive tomb that contained more than 1,000 precious artifacts, including makeup, toiletries, hundreds of pieces of lacquerware, and 162 carved wooden figures which were all made to represent her staff of servants. Lady Dai even had a meal to enjoy in the afterlife. The things they discovered in her crypt are already astounding, but nothing could have prepared them when they saw the 2,000-year-old corpse of Lady Dai in a very impressive state. Her body was still soft to the touch, with moisture and elasticity. Most of her hair was also intact, including her eyebrows, eyelashes, and even the tiny hair inside her nostrils. They even managed to find type A blood in her veins. Looking at Lady Dai's body though, you're probably thinking, this doesn't look that impressive. I admit that this doesn't match how Lady Dai's body was described, but remember, the only reason why Lady Dai's body was extremely preserved is because of how her body was prepared and embalmed. Furthermore, her tomb was untouched for thousands of years. Now suddenly, her tomb was open, and her body was exposed to oxygen and air. Because of this, her body deteriorated, which is why the pictures of her body that we see today don't do her justice. They did manage to create a replica of how Lady Dai might have looked when she was still alive. When she was still alive, Lady Dai was the wife of the high-ranking official Li Kang. She died at the young age of 50, and there's a high possibility that she died as a result of her preference for excess. In her life, she partook in an opulent and overly indulgent diet. Her lack of exercise also brought on a life of obesity. Number 7. Spiral-Shaped Burial Finding a mass grave is one thing, but finding a pile of skeletons arranged in a spiral shape is another. A fascinating yet macabre discovery was found outside Mexico City. This was said to be because of a 2,400-year-old ritual where people artfully arranged multiple skeletons in this intriguing shape. The remains belong to old adults, male and female young adults, one child, and a month-old infant. They found some intentional skull deformation in several of the bodies and some tooth injuries. They also found some clay pots and bowls beside the huge pile of remains. Despite their curious position, we still don't know how these people died. We don't know whether they died of natural causes or whether they died due to a more morbid reason, like human sacrifice. There is one ongoing theory, though. A researcher claims that this might be some sort of interpretation of life because of the individuals buried on the site. There is a baby, a child, an infant, two young adults, a full adult, and an older adult. This theory might sound extremely plausible, but because little is known about the civilization that they belong to, we might not be able to confirm this theory. Number 6. Murder Island From the name of this island alone, you will immediately have an idea about what unfolded on this island. At first glance, this place might look surreal and picturesque, that is, until you discover what's buried underneath. This is Murder Island, and it got its infamous nickname after archaeologists discovered more than a hundred bodies on the island, all of them brutally killed. 400 years ago, a Dutch sailing ship called the Batavia traversed the coast of Western Australia, and on its way, it struck a reef 25 miles off the coast near the Houtman Abrolhos Islands. The occupants of the ship tried to swim towards land, and during the process, about 40 of them drowned. The remaining who survived did make it to land, but perhaps the ones that drowned had a better fate than those that reached Beacon Island. Little did they know that the island would soon become their mass grave. If you've read The Lord of the Flies, then you probably have an idea of how brutal the situation was. As they were waiting to be rescued, 
125 men, women, and children were mercilessly slaughtered by mutineers over three months. Some women were kept alive only to be repeatedly harassed and tortured. The mutineers did get sent to the gallows, but the horrific act they did forever went down in history. And to this day, we continue to excavate bones in the island graveyard. Number 5. Unlucky Pompeii Man You've probably come across this picture on the internet before. This is the ill-fated Pompeii man that was allegedly crushed by a boulder while he was trying to flee from the raging Mount Vesuvius, the volcano that erupted which caused the entirety of Pompeii to be reduced to ruins. After careful analysis, the man seems to have been significantly slowed down because of a leg injury. After that, he was then crushed by a huge stone that came falling onto him from the air. That's pretty unlucky. Imagine the chances, though. This man was believed to be already in his 30s. The most tragic thing about this man's death is that when the rock was hurled toward him, it crushed most of his upper body, and it also removed his head, which we still can't locate to this day. And now it's time for today's topic. The more things we discover on our planet, the more that we realize that perhaps we aren't all that familiar with the planet we call home. This is one of the scariest discoveries found buried underground. Just take a look at this skeleton. I thought unicorns only existed in storybooks. Who could have known that there were unicorn-like creatures that existed before? Unlike the unicorns that you read about in fantasy books, these unicorns don't leave behind a trail of glitter or rainbow-colored dust as they run. But instead, they look like horses and rhinos. But instead, they have a single horn on top of their heads. They stood at over 1.8 meters tall, about 4 meters long, and about 4 tons. This is the so-called Siberian unicorn that was believed to have died about 350,000 years ago. That is, until archaeologists found a fossilized skull in Kazakhstan which belonged to a Siberian unicorn that died as recently as 29,000 years ago. As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 4. Headless Vikings It might not be too bad to see a pile of skeletons buried in one site, but just imagine how they looked years ago back when they just died. Not a very pretty picture, right? This site in the United Kingdom was probably extremely gut-wrenching. In here lies naked, beheaded and tangled bodies of 51 young males identified as Vikings. The decapitated skeletons were all tangled together while their heads were stacked neatly to the side. Many of the skeletons have deep cut marks on their skull, jaw, and neck, which suggests that they were held as captives before they were mercilessly decapitated. Radiocarbon dating suggests that the men lived between AD 910 and 1030. This is a period where the English fought and often lost to Viking invaders. Number 3. Neanderthal Cannibalism We all have seen movies or read stories where people were forced to eat other humans just to survive. For us, Cannibalism is a taboo topic, and when someone practices it, they're often seen as mentally unsound, at least for most cultures. There are still some tribes in the world that practice cannibalism, which makes it normal for their people. Perhaps the practice of eating your kin is just normal, especially if it guarantees that you'll live to see another day. Scientists recently discovered the remains of a group of Neanderthals in northern Spain. And the most horrifying detail about it is that they were butchered and eaten by a group of local cannibals. Most of them were initially discovered inside the cave system of El Cedron in 1994, and their bones have been preserved for 51,000 years. The slaughtered group included three children aged two to nine, three teenagers, and six adults. Being slaughtered to get eaten by another human sounds extremely horrifying, but to add to the grim details, their skeletons were also split open in a way to easily extract the marrow, tongue, and brains. Yikes! Number 2. Mass Baby Grave The discovery of a mass baby grave under a Roman bathhouse in Ashkelon, Israel is both an intriguing and spine-chilling discovery. Archaeologists first explored the sewers of the Roman bathhouse and found something bizarre. They found a huge pile of bones that they initially thought of as chicken bones. Sure. Maybe someone back then just wanted to snack on some chickens and threw them carelessly down the sewers. No big deal. Well, that is, until they examined the bones and found out that they were no chicken. They were the remains of newborn children from the Roman period. 
Over a hundred of them were found, making this sewer discovery the largest grave of babies to date. So how exactly did these babies die? Apparently, in the Roman era, it was normal for babies to be murdered and killed as a way of birth control. Back then, it wasn't considered a crime, because for them, newborn children were beings that weren't thought of as a person yet. Pretty tragic, I know. Number 1. 4,000-Year-Old Skeletal Remains of Leprosy In 2009, a 4,000-year-old skeleton was discovered in Balathal, India, and it showed signs of leprosy, one of the most dreaded diseases on the entire planet. A lot of people might know about leprosy. It's an age-old disease that can often be read about even in age-old books and records. A few ancient civilizations knew of the disease, and a couple of them fell victim to this sickness. Despite being extensively well-known, the origin and history of this disease are completely unknown. The origin and initial migration of this disease are not known to us. The fact that this poor man was buried suggests that he became an outcast and an outsider. In Hindu tradition, corpses are usually cremated, unless they're an outcast, victims of magic or curses, or lepers. Which of these discoveries spooked you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.